Welcome in, welcome in. Throughout my years on this earth, I finally understood why medias are good and why medias are bad. Of course, there are shows, movies, artists, song producers, things of that nature. However, I, since I was younger, I've been infatuated with games and animation. Games have had a spark with them that you can't get anywhere else. Stories too expensive for a book, visuals too expensive for a movie, and concepts too dark for everything else. So let's sit down, grab our cups, and enjoy some hot chocolate. As I list my top five favorite games in my time on this very earth, your discretion is advised. <laughs> Number five, Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. <laughs> Fire Emblem, also known as Anime Chess, is a game made by the company Nintendo, a very small company, by the way, <laughs> having 17 mainline games as of the time of recording this video, you'd think there'd be objectively a best game. And there is. <laughs> Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, happened to be the first GBA Fire Emblem game and had hit the ground running with starting and stunning visuals for, for like the early 2000s. Of course, this is the last game Japanese exclusive that never came to the US, and it's a shame because, you know, it has unique, it has a really unique story, I'm just gonna say it, and also some of the worst mechanics with True Hit. Now, I'm not gonna talk about True Hit more, I just gotta say it, Fire Emblem's a really good game, I recommend checking it out. Uh, yeah. It is a tactical, turn-based RPG, and I think you'll have fun with it. Number four, Frostpunk. Questions, and please pause the videos, depending on if you are teaching a class or if you're watching this in post. Just raise your hand if you believe you can keep morality no matter what. Pause the video if you can, or if you don't need to. I'll do give a brief pause for you guys so you can, like, <laughs> decide this. Okay, we're back. Put your hands down. You're all wrong. So, Frostpunk <laughs> is a city builder survival game that made me question, is this going too far? In the game, you have to manage the last group of humans from freezing to death after the Krakatoa explosion froze the whole earth over, and the only thing you have with that is a broken down generator you have to keep maintain as your city freezes and your people starve. It is a perfect city builder and a really good survival game. Now, <laughs> all, all of that, all of that is perfect as is. However, there's a mechanic in the game that I need to talk about real quick called the law system. The law system, there are concepts that made me think for 15 minutes should I do it, and should I not touch it with a four-foot pole? That is not a joke. Ask Tyler. You can see in the footage there are some questionable laws, and those some of these questionable laws made me question myself as we played the game. Now, I recommend giving the game a shot. I will not spoil anything else from here. It is a really good game, and my only complaint is that it's kind of a mixed bag. You either love it or you hate it, and, you know, some people hate it. I can't complain with that. Anyways, that's my number four slot. Picture this. You wake up in a dark room, lost and confused, then out of the darkness, two yellow eyes peer into your soul. They ask you to play a game. A game is a card game that has never been, you know, discussed upon or talked about. The choices are that or <laughs> execution which is where Inscription picks up, which is my number third option. Inscription is a really unique experience I recommend playing without spoilers, so I'll try my best without spoiling the game. In this card game, you must play for your survival, and you start getting these visions of something else as you play. It's, it's weird to explain. The card game has two different mechanics, the bone mechanic and the sacrifice mechanic, and as you progress the game, the mechanics increase and ramp up over time. And that is all I can talk about without spoiling the game. <laughs> That's my number three. Number two, Lethal Company. 
Lethal Company is a horror comedy game that you can play with your friends. However, oh, I just hit the mic. <laughs> However, unlike all the other games that I've talked about, I can't really bring it justice. So I'll give you a short little clip and you guys can watch it from there. It is, I, I literally cannot explain it. It's one of those things you have to watch rather than explain. <laughs> That's horrifying. There's a ship. I'm gonna die. It's right behind me, isn't he? You little slick! I hope you get no boot! <laughs> uh... That was good. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. How'd you die? Um... I don't even remember. Oh, we stayed at the bracket too long. Put a map on my pulley. I like how it's just him typing. He is not going anywhere near me. Holy crap, it's behind him. Is it? Where's the guy? Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's vibing. Him. We stared at the bracket too long. It's behind him! Oh my god, how is he doing this? Turn around, Bro, Arjun! Turn around! <laughs> Just turn around! He's gonna die. How is he alive? I don't know. How dumb luck. He's alive by dumb luck. What? Turn around! Oh, right here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. Fight me. Fight me. That's right. Come on. Come on. It's gonna actually kill him. <laughs> and that's right. Run! Number one. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite game, dude. Spectrobe's Origins. <laughs> you thought it was going to be a dark and depressing game, knowing the stuff on my list. Well, you're wrong. It's a Disney game. <laughs> Spectrobe's Origins is my personal favorite game, not because of its mechanics, not because of the story, not because of the complexity, but because this was the first game that showed me how artistic, complex, and interesting games can be when I was a child. And I can't really explain it, but it's perfect in my eyes. I've seen stuff online saying it's not a perfect game, and you know, in my opinion, <laughs> they're right. But no amount of sword fighting, no amount of questionable laws, no amount of card sacrifice, and no amounts of cosmic horrors can break my touch with my favorite game, and this game is perfect to me. I recommend you give it a shot. I, I can't say anything else about it. Now, I want to leave you guys with a message here. Art in the world makes the world go around. Art is how we have progressed in humanity as the time periods go on, no matter how the presentation is we all can appreciate the concepts and ideals like these that are shown. It's not hard to be yourself and express it in visual form. No matter how dark the world seems, you can always have something to keep your comfort with art. I recommend expressing that to, um, I recommend expressing your artistic side and creating something. It doesn't have to be a drawing. It could be a video, it could be a game, it could be anything. Ah, crap, my, co my hot chocolate got cold. Anyways, I must get going, and you guys should too. It's getting colder every day, and... Yeah. I recommend you guys have a really great Christmas, and if it's not Christmas, a really great summer. And if it's not summer... Okay. You guys have a great time. I'll be back. It'll just take a little bit. Night.